What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD Blind in Hero Mode. In the last episode, we started the Wind Temple. That should totally be called the Wind or the Earth Temple because that makes a lot more sense. Stupid. Um, just look. Seriously, it's grassy. It's it's just. Uh. Anyways, Macar doesn't work the exact same. Oh my God, it's a wizard. Really, one hit? That's adorable. <laughs> my car doesn't work the same way as Medley, as you can see there. When you jump with him in your hands, you don't fly across the room, unfortunately. He's just too light to be able to carry you. Oh, look at the stuff, folks. So I guess they're to... Burr, 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 burr. Oh, man. Oh, look, he destroyed the... Yes, okay. Uh, boomerang. And you. There we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. There we go. Theoretically, you should do the other temple first because it seems to be that that temple is what's supposed to be first because Like if you came to this temple first the Stelphos would be here, but you hadn't gotten, gotten that proper introduction to him yet Right, does that make sense? And um, They give you a proper introduction in the last temple. So I mean, you know, that makes the most sense to me Anyways, I'm gonna put on our iron boots here and, Oh dang. So these works as, work as springs we take our iron boots off, they flip you up, and yay! So what we're gonna do here, actually, we jump on here. I'll we'll see those wind currents over there, right? Let's put those on there. Let's use our wind wet car. Wind wet car, toy can my car. <laughs> see his angry face there? Ooh, actually, I just realized something here. I forgot about these. If you walk up to these mounds, if you press A, you pop the seed in it. And yes, my car's special ability. Is the plant trees? Yeah, I mean, then again, Medley's special ability <laughs> was to make uh, wind up here, I guess, or not wind, to be able to uh, reflect light. So I mean, they're both pretty lame abilities, to be fair. Oh, I see. I thought that's the way I actually deactivated this, but apparently I just got a treasure chest from that. So I should go over here then. Whee! And jump on the switch and. Even though he doesn't really look like he would be, apparently he's heavy enough to make those disappear. So let's take our iron boots off and we. But I want to come down here and get this treasure chest. <laughs> look at this. These trees even have little happy faces on them. You got 100 rupees. One of these is worth 100 poopies. Hey, this freaking, oh, it really bugs me how this tree's facing to the right and this one's facing forward. I wonder if there's a way to remedy that. Like if I planted it facing a certain way, that's what depends how it goes. Aw, oh, dang it. Uh, yeah, see if you jump up here without your iron boots, you don't plop down. Yep. Okay, so the biggest gimmick in this temple is definitely going to be iron boots plus Deku Leaf equals love. Let's take those. No. Climb back up, Mr. Lincoln. No. There we go. And then, whee! And that little guideline down there is really helpful. Maybe a bit too helpful. Right? Am I right? Let's take a look how many floors are in this place. Oops. There we go. I like that a lot better. Only two? Really? Or three, I guess? Wow, I remember this having a lot more floors than that. Especially when you guys see, like, the main hub of this dungeon. It, it's pretty freaking huge. It's weird, though. Maybe I just combined it all into one floor. Hmm, interesting. Alright. Uh, <laughs> Stalfos. That's not what those guys are at all. LOL. Alright, let's hit them with our arrows. Oh man. Oh, I'm hitting with fire arrows. That's probably not a good idea. Oh no! Oh, I forgot about that. Dang it. Uh, uh, I gotta get into the groove again, <laughs> apparently. Fighting some of these enemies and not take damage. I did so well in the last temple, like taking damage wise. Like, I didn't die once, unless you count a fairy death as a death. Um, which I mean, some people do, others don't, but. Uh, whatever you count it as. Ooh, can I have flown up there or something? Hmm. Oh, dang it! Oh, yeah. <laughs> My car gets hit by it. Oh, man. That's actually kind of unfortunate. Can I bowl you away from the car or some crap? Come on! Ah, dude. Are you just going to get pushed in again? Ugh. There we go. Okay, so what happens if I do this? Can I fly up there? Where's this switch? Deactivate that. 
Oh, it does. That's weird, but okay. I thought maybe I just stepped on that switch and I had to step on this one as well. Whoa, I almost played the wrong note there. Wait, right, let's see what happens if I fly up here. Hey, I have hearts here as well. Ooh. Anything this way? I don't think I've ever checked this out before. Is there anything higher up? Nope. Uh oh, I'm out of flying juice. Yeah, my car can also fly, by the way. <laughs> Since I haven't talked about that. Huh, interesting. Oh, I hear a car racing outside, hitting the gas. I doubt you guys could hear that. Well then. You know, might as well just fly across here and plant these trees while we're here. Because we're already playing as my car. You might as well do such a crazy thing. Oh, come on. I hate how they walk upstairs. It sucks. No, come on. Let go. There we go. See, let's, let's plant a tree from the right and see if he, like, faces the right or some crap. He does. Alright, now let's place a tree going to the left here and see if... Let's, let's actually try diagonally and just see what happens. Is your face going to point diagonally, Mr. Tree? It is, kind of? That's really... I don't like that. That messes my brain. Especially because those trees stay there forever now. Alright, move, Mr. Weird Blade. I think those guys actually have a specific name. I don't know what they're called, though. You know what? Yeah, I tried to do a spin attack there. It did not work out the way I wanted it to. Whoopsies! Alright, bye, Mr. Smiley Trees. <laughs> uh, I think down here. Oh, dang it. Well, I might as well check it out now. Oh, there's more of these assholes, hey? They're a bit more scary now that we actually need magic, and it's a bit concerning to us to keep it. No, really? Come on. Come on now. Climb quick before they come back. Apparently, one of the new features of this game is also takes Link to climb up ledges longer now, which is a really silly thing. I think it has to do with you no longer have to press A to climb or something like that. I don't freaking know. Okay, awesome. Can these guys grab the car as well? Does it do anything? No? Okay. Wait, does it make me stop flying? I think it does, maybe? It, what? Did I have to tap A? I forget how to fly, apparently. Maybe I just wasn't tapping A. That could that could be why. Oh, this door's actually locked over here. Interesting. Did not realize that. But there are trees over here we could plant, so maybe this is actually some kind of activation key? Question mark? I actually do not know. I don't know. I don't care. Yay! It's interesting. So these trees are brown from the bottom and green from the top. That's really weird. Yeah, have something to do with the light. There we go. Throw the tree in the ground and plant it. Yay! Alright. Last one. I don't know how the heck we're going to get up here. Bam! Planted trees! Mother Nature would be proud. Mother Nature is an actual person, apparently. Hey, that did Oh, jeez, what? Well, then. I don't think I can help. Aww. Assholes! So, yeah, that was a scripted event. There's nothing you can do about that. It's gotta be somewhere. I wonder where they took him. I mean, they took Medley to that birdcage looking place. Hey, I'm actually really happy to see these guys. Ha ha! And then I'll take them out with their arrows. Look, come over here! Your freaking leafy face. No, oh, he's in jail too. Dang it. And unfortunately, getting him out of jail is not nearly as easy as it, is, as it was for Medley in the last temple. I said in the original game. <laughs> but no. There's actually no way to get in there. Frank! The stone block at the entrance seems extremely heavy. The only way it can move as if you become as heavy as the great Deku Tree himself. Ah, if only the great Deku Tree were here right now. I can lift it. Oh, I can't. Lame. I don't know why. It's not like it's stuck. There's flush against it. I should be able to lift it. If I can lift the other giant stone things. I mean, those things look about just as big. So I don't freaking know. Oh, boy. Okay, uh... Hello. Uh-huh. Now it's your turn. Oh, good lord. <laughs> he, he helped me. Oh, that would have been amazing if him blowing up also made that guy blow up. He dead. Alright, don't need those bombs. 
gotta try to stop me. We can't. I'm too powerful. See, this is the, like the main hub of the room, I or main hub of the dungeon, I believe. And it's interesting how they only counted us three floors in this game. Hmm. Although they very well could have done that in the original one as well, and I just forgot. <laughs> Let's face it, I'm a stupid head. <sighs> you, I really want their golden feathers since. To be fair, by now I should have all 20 golden feathers, but I don't, so. Well, I guess that's mostly bad luck on my part, but. Or I'm just terrible at the video games. <laughs> yeah, right. Alright, so. If I actually see these, like, cracked things here, we can put it on our iron boots, and it'll make us heavy enough to fall through. Hey, the freaking floor master. Uh, uh, whoa, Link made a noise there. It scared me. Uh, there's two arrows in him. Is that enough to kill you? No, of course not. Let's do parry attacks. Maybe those that's the best way to deal with these assholes. Yeah, somehow I knew he was going to drop that. Ah, oh, man. So much item switching in this temple. Well, maybe it won't be so much if I didn't want to use my grappling hook to get the, the stuff in the things, you know. Jump on this. This just puts us above to where we were. See? It puts us through that hole. Um, oops. Want to attack you, dude? Yeah! Really? Oh, I thought you'd be dead since I attacked you twice already. Are you going to drop anything special? Yay! Not worth it. I think I do need all the rupees I could get, but still, that's not very worth it. Alright, let's see what this takes us. Oh, really? Oh, I see. Okay. Took me a second there, but I gotcha. Whoa, that did not look like it should have done worked, but okay. <laughs> Alright, put on our boots, jump up, jump up, and get down. Jump up, jump up to get down. Ugh, ugh, scary. Oh, now what? I'm actually not entirely sure where to go from here. You got Jib! Really? I thought it was going to at least be a key. Dude. Dude. Uh, maybe, oh, I see. Gotcha. Oh, there's also a way to go this way as well. And look, two more golden feathers. Yay! No, don't hide behind the switch, you butt. All right, where's the other one? Ha! Uh, uh, what? I did not get a gold feather from you. Yeah, I was gonna say. Jeez. So here's the first tablet we've actually come to that we can't actually do anything about since we don't have Makar here. So that sucks. Looks like we'll have to come back here eventually. I remember having a lot of issues either remembering that this ever existed or just getting back here later on after you save Makara from his demise. Really? Already in this room? Jeez. Seems very memorable to me as well. Um, alrighty. I don't think there's anything here on the floor. Then again, I guess there's no way to really tell. Yeah, and there's Makara on the map. I thought you need a compass to see that. Huh. Apparently not. Alright. Here we go. Whee! So, it's like at the Forbidden Woods, or getting into the Forbidden Woods. I'm gonna use that. Use the updraft to your advantage. And I just heard a doo doo doo. Yep, you guys see him? Look at that asshole. Did I get him? I don't know if I got him or not. That would have been awesome if I did. Oh boy! Holy crap! Where is he? Yes! Was there another one? I hear another one somewhere. I don't know where he is. I don't know where that butt of heads is. Huh. Uh, I guess we'll go this way first, question mark. Oh boy. I hear him casting his fireballs and such. So, oh no, 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 no. Phew. Okay, I was gonna say, I better not bounce him back and like make me fall or some crap. I'd actually prefer to get a freaking, um compass over a map at this point since I don't know where the treasure shirts are <laughs> you got a map of the dungeon and stuff all right let's take a look at what we got here all right by the looks of this we're already almost done this temple super wow that's actually crazy let's see so we've already been in the majority of the rooms and what we're 15 minutes into this first episode here and again I guess the last temple did only take us or the last dungeon did only take us like a few episodes as well all right so we didn't go to the left this time so let's go that way Let's hope that I have enough magic to get there. I might not, to be fair. A little bit worried. Trying to get pretty low on magic there. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, we have two more dedos left. 
Oh no! No! And I even took damage too. Dang it! That sucks. Ah, dude, that stinks. And yeah, this is where these arms become a bit more of a pain. Since the last time we saw them, we're, we're in the Forbidden Woods. In case you don't remember, this when they they grab you, they don't take health away. They eat your magic. So careful not to let them eat your magic. Do you only these skulls have magic? Yeah. There you go. Oh boy, don't know where that fire's gonna go. Yeah, there's no way to like climb up there and like glitch it out. There might be actually. Actually, I wonder what would happen if I did this. Ah, uh, okay, I was good. Oh, look, I could almost get up there, dude. Ah, oh, that sucks. Can I actually? Yeah, look at that. Let's see if I could. No, it seems you'll kind of automatically slip on that. All right, give me more magic. All right, uh, there should be vines over here, I believe. Yes. All the way back over here. <laughs> I might actually leave this room and come back. It will respawn the original two wizard robes I killed, but it would also respawn all the magic I'd get back. And I think I'm gonna need all I can get to get across here. So I'll just see you guys where I was in uno momento. Oh, is he not coming back? Apparently, he's not gonna come back. Okay, well then, I guess I need to cut that at all. I might be, I'll probably just fast forward to be honest. All right, let's jump without using that updraft since we don't really need it. We do need all the magic we could save here. There we go. That was a lot more favorable. Sure, hope there's enough. There's more magic in these skulls. So if there's not, there we go. Okay. There's a wizard. Oh no, there's also those assholes. All right, let's take that out for a moment. All right. Whoa, that fire was hard to watch where it was gonna go. No, wrong thing, wrong thing, wrong thing. Yeah. All right, all right. Um, 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 um. Eh. Eh. Taking care of a million things at once here. Flying a million miles a second. You still take me by surprise. I missed. No, I missed. Yeah. Gotta say, it's not as easy as it probably would have been with the gamepad. Aha! I still got him again. <laughs> yes, got him. Got him. Hmm. Is there a way to make it come to me? Come to me. There we go. Okay, don't really care about you anymore. I don't think we're gonna get lucky enough to get the other one to come over here. I'm gonna throw on there. He might follow us though once we. Once he sees us over here. Hey, look! Look! You see? Look at me! Tee! Come on. Come on, dude. Can you still see me? I'm over here. Hey! He came over here after all. Adorable. Eh. Yeah! And now you're dead. Aha! I did it. All by myself. Ooh! He dropped a gem. I'm definitely going to get it. I'd have been sad if I did actually jump down there. I think I have actually accidentally jumped down there before. Hey! We're back to the main hub of the room, I think. Yeah, there's Makara's little dungeon over there. You could see him. Just barely, but you could definitely see him. I don't know. Oh, you know what? This is a switch. Huh, okay. In the next episode, we're going to jump on the switch. Ooh, might want to grab that. Yeah, that's a lot better than... In the or uh, originally, what I used to do when I used to play this is I'd put on the fire arrows and I'd try to shoot it. That was really hard to do. Another thing I also found out you could do is you could place a bomb beside the pot there and it would also blow it up but it's like when you see wood it's like you think you're gonna want to light it on fire or something yep in the next episode we're gonna jump on the switch and see what it does yay talk to you guys later bye bye